Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another Five Minute Friday here on Meaningful Money. Let's begin. Someone pointed out to me that the concept of paying yourself first could be misconstrued, misunderstood. I talk about paying yourself first a lot here, so I thought it might be worth just clarifying what I mean. So let's do that today, and as you know by now, we're gonna stick five minutes on the clock down here, and I'm gonna to attempt to stick to it. I'm gonna say a quick thank you to my friends at Seven Investment Management down here for continuing to sponsor Meaningful Money, and we're gonna crack on. So the idea of paying yourself first comes from a great book. Actually, let me find one, hang on. comes from this book, The Automatic Millionaire by David Back. Highly recommended. David Back used to be at least a practicing financial advisor and he tells a story of a couple who came into his office. They didn't look anything much, but they turned out to be pretty wealthy. And the whole book really is unpacking their method for building wealth over time, which is paying yourself first. Now let's get this out of the way right at the top. Paying yourself first does not mean fun money first buy what you want and then make do with the rest. No, that's not what it means at all. Neither does it mean live for today and hope that the future will sort itself out. The person who asked me about this suggested that it might be construed as that. So if it doesn't mean those things, what does it mean? Put simply, it means increasing your own wealth before anybody else's. For the avoidance of doubt, buying the latest iPhone does not increase your wealth. It might increase your perceived wealth, but that's not the same thing at all, and that's not really what we're interested in here. It means increasing your wealth before anybody else's, and by paying yourself first, that means putting money towards your wealth building before you even pay your bills, literally before you do anything else. So how do you do that? Well, if you have debt, like credit card debt or personal loans or overdrafts or something, when you get paid, you need to identify the biggest amount you can of your income to pay against those loans. When you set your budget, throw as much as you can at the debt to clear it as quickly as possible. The best way I know to clear down credit cards and personal loans and stuff is something called the debt snowball. Just search Meaningful Money for debt snowball and you'll find out what I mean. Now you might think that paying off debt is actually paying other people. So how is that paying yourself first? Well, if you think about it, you're still improving your wealth by reducing the amount of debt that you owe. So your net worth is higher as a result of you making your payments. You're still improving your financial situation and you have to pay the debt anyway, so pay as much as you can off it to get rid of it as soon as you can. Quick aside, I don't think this applies to student loans, by the way, just FYI. That's a whole different kind of debt and not really a debt at all. So here in the UK, you can forget about student loans. Very different, so I'm told, over the pond. I also don't think it applies to a mortgage, by the way, important point. Mortgage is a long-term debt and generally a good debt. So you don't have to debt snowball that. Really, that applies to credit cards, store cards, personal loans, overdrafts, things like that. Once you are debt-free, paying yourself means that as soon as you get paid, you identify a sum of money that you are gonna save or invest for your future before you even pay your regular monthly bills. Yes, that's right, before you pay your bills. The danger in paying it after is that you pay your bills, you budget for the month, and you kinda hope that you're gonna save something, whatever's left at the end of the month. Spoiler alert, there won't be anything left at the end of the month. So by paying yourself first, you're making sure that the first thing you do is to make your financial situation a little bit better, and then you budget what's left. Obviously, you still have to pay your bills, so if there's more going out in bills than is coming in in income, you've got a major problem, something you're gonna to have to fix first before you even think about building wealth for the future. But most folks watching this will be in a position either to pay down debt or to save and invest for the future because they have an income coming in and can determine how that money should be spent. So, paying yourself first. When you sit down to do your budget, take your income after tax, the money you actually receive. Determine how much you're gonna save and invest. Put some aside for your monthly bills that you know are roughly the same every single month, and then budget the rest. Talked a little bit about that on Five Minute Friday last week, so check back for that if you missed it. And that's it, hopefully significantly less than five minutes, but who knows, I do tend to rabbit on, so. If this video is useful, hit the like button, press subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in next week's Five Minute Friday.